Welcome back, guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. So recently, we were out at the cabin again, doing some more testing of JS8 Call. Uh, Andy was helping me out. I got to give a huge shout out to Andy, and uh, a thanks to him for always being willing to help me out with uh, these videos and the testing of JS8 Call. But anyway, this time we were working with uh, JS8 Call over 2 meter single sideband, there's roughly 28 miles between uh, Andy and me when I'm out at the cabin. I had recently built an attenuator and uh, decided to put the attenuator into this test as well. Wanted to see just how low we could go with uh, power output and still make the contact between Andy and I. So the map you're looking at on the screen here uh, is a terrain map. It's actually used for... Uh, satellite links we use it uh, with the mesh networking uh, that we do but I thought it would be kind of a uh, good graphic to show you guys to give you an idea of the terrain between us so we started with 5 watts with the 857 which is the lowest it will go and then we started to attenuate the signal to see just how far down we could go and still make the contact be sure to give us a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you got any questions. Enjoy the video. All right, so what we're doing right now is trying to establish a baseline. So I am sending a message to him at five watts uh, to see what our SNR uh, report is going to be. And then we'll start putting some attenuation into it uh, to see how low we can go and still make this uh, this QSO happen. Uh, Andy and I are about 28 miles apart roughly when I'm out here at the cabin and I'm running 5 watts and I believe Andy is running 5 watts as well. And, uh, KM4 ACK active. Roger, roger Andy. Okay, I'm showing you at uh, negative 08 SNR. Uh, what did you copy my signal at? Roger, roger, copy, negative zero three. Okay, I'm going to dial in some attenuation and uh, go again. Looks like uh, three dB attenuation will give us two and a half watts out. So we're gonna put uh, three dB in and send you a, uh, another command to your rig. Okay, good, and uh, I am using five watts. Copy, five watts, stand by. Okay, so this time we've put 3 dB of attenuation in, so it should cut our 5 watt input to 2.5 watts going out. And let's go ahead and transmit that out and see what kind of a report we get back from Andy. All right, Andy, with two and a half watts, it looks like we got a negative 06 back uh, on that transmission. So let's, uh, let's see, that was two and a half watts. This time we're going to dial in seven dB of attenuation, which will drop our signal to one watt, one watt. Roger, yeah, let's see what that comes up with. Okay, stand by one. Let me get everything keyed up here. All right, I should be coming at you with one watt of power uh, about now. Copy, it's going to be negative 12 with one watt of power. Okay, uh, well, we still got some uh, overhead left, so let's go ahead and cut that in half again, and let's come at you this time with 500 milliwatts. Stand by while I reconfigure. Roger. 500 milliwatts, 10 dB. Okay. 
Okay, so with one watt, we got a negative 12 uh, report. So we're gonna go ahead and hit him this time with 500 milliwatts and see what kind of a report we get with 500 milliwatts. All right, here comes the transmission in, uh, well, there it is. And that is 500 milliwatts coming at you, 500 milliwatts. Copy, negative 14 uh, at 500 milliwatts. Not bad. I left the attenuation in. Let's see what I copy you at. I've got you at 19 dB below uh, on that acknowledgement. But I did get it, negative 14. So let's, uh, let's cut it in half again and see what happens. Roger. All right, so this time we've dialed in 13 dB of attenuation. And that should give us 250 milliwatts out to Andy. Let's see what kind of a report we can get back. All right, signal is coming at you right now, Andy. All right, 250 milliwatts. And it looks like we got a negative 18 dB report coming back. Copy, negative 18. Should we uh, go a little further and see what it'll do with 125 milliwatts? Oh, well, see what it'll do. That's amazing, though. All right, stand by. Let me get that dialed in. That's going to be 16 dB of attenuation for 125 milliwatts. All right, so this time we're going with 125 milliwatts back to Andy. And we'll see if we get a report back. Last one was negative 18, so this one's really kind of stretching things a little bit. All right, Andy coming at you in just a couple of seconds with 125 milliwatts. Transmission has started now. And it doesn't look like you got a decode at 125 milliwatts. Is that correct? Did not see anything on the waterfall. <laughs> All right, guys. So there you have it. Uh, we were able to do it at 250 milliwatts, uh, but was not able to get that through with 125 milliwatts. We did try a couple of more times just to make sure and uh, never could get it to work below 250 milliwatts. Still not bad for uh, JS8 call to be able to decode that far down. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until the next one, 7-3.